All right, what's going on everybody? Today, we're gonna talk some Kydex holsters. Uh, I finally pulled the trigger on a new holster for my Glock 43, and I'm telling you guys, this thing is awesome. You guys watch my channel, you know that I was having issues with my um, old holster with the clip and it riding out of the belt. And um, I've had, I had a new belt that I've been wanting to try for a long time now. And uh, because of the new system, um, that I decided to go with from Silent Arm Concealment. There's this thing here's his business card here and I'll make sure I'll add all his information in the description. So um, you know American made private owned place you know it's a small holster company and uh, I'm proud to support him. So the thing about these holsters is you can find a million different companies you know out there that to make holsters for any gun really and so it's it's kind of like difficult to choose from so I figured you know I'd put my input out there so anyway here it is back there there's my Glock 43 um, I'm just getting home so it is hot we'll clear it in a minute but I went with soft loops and there's a couple reasons for that um, let's just get into it um, the soft loops I went into because I wanted to try this new belt instead of the 511 tactical belt and I would never be able to use that kind of belt with a clip like this because when you pull the firearm out of the holster if you had to um, the holster is going to end up coming with it so this is a very thin minimalist belt and I like minimalist stuff and I don't like these big side car things with knives and mags and all kinds of crap in them this is really all I need. All right, and he did just a phenomenal job on it. He even covered up my extended magazine release because I asked him to, and they did that. Although I took it out because I don't want to run the, the, the extended mag release in my everyday carry firearm. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to me. First of all, this is hot, so let's just clear this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dirt. Step back in and do that. Okay, so I didn't want to run the extended magazine release. I had it in there for a few days. It wasn't popping at it like the issue I was having which is why I wanted it covered. But the more I thought about it, I just don't want it in there, but I'm still gonna leave it covered up because I don't know, I kinda like it like that. And I know that in training situations or whatever that they want you to pop the mag with, with it holstered yet still, but this is inside the waistband, concealed carry firearm. I'm not gonna be able to do that either way. So this isn't the gun I would go to training with for duty. That would be a Glock 19 or, or something like that where it's an out of the waistband holster where I would be able to release the magazine. So with this firearm and with this setup, I want it covered. And uh, I just choose to leave the extended magazine release out. I did have it in there. It looked okay and it worked fine. I just choose to leave it out. Uh, I just want the stock one in there. It works fine. So the holster, it's obviously made out of Kydex. He did a phenomenal job with it. I got the sweat guard added on there. He made the edges just look so, he just, you know, took his time, the craftsmanship with it. And, you know, you can see, you know, it's just nice and rounded. So it's not digging in the anywhere. The other thing that I thought was cool was it's a very easy Phillips head to adjust it, which, you know, some of these are just awkward hex, uh, you know, keys and, different crap like that and it just kind of gets annoying the soft loops are already molding to my body shape which you know you can see kind of they're like rounding and uh, I just think it's really neat I love the thin blue line print obviously you guys know I'm training to be a police officer still and uh, and you know I just uh, I think it's awesome so the soft loops, the reason why I went with this is because of this belt. So like, 
if I had a holster like that, and I wanted to use this belt instead of what I was using, which is a 511 tactical, which is cool for certain times and, and places, but like as far as EDC, this thing just gets too big, and that, that's really heavy, and uh, it really does work out good. It's, it's nice and broken in. 511, and uh, it's just, you know, a good gun belt. But I want minimalist, you know what I mean? I want thin, I want lightweight, and that's what the Travex clinch does. And we'll get into a separate review on this, but you can see how thin that is. So there's no way a clip, I mean, yeah, obviously on that part, but like if it was back here, that thing's coming right out of there. So I want it a thin, lightweight uh, setup, and I want it to run soft loops because I, no matter what you do, when you get in your car or, or whatever you do, the gun always wants to ride up like this, and these clips, I don't care. They, they always wear. They always wear. Now, Silent Arm Concealment sent me a backup clip too, which I thought was awesome. Um, but I'm not going to use it because now I was kind of skeptical about the soft loops because they kind of look like a pain in, in the ass, right? To put, you know, because say you got to take your your firearm out for whatever reason. Maybe you're going somewhere it doesn't allow firearms. I just thought it would be a pain in the ass to put it in and out. But as I started using it, I'll show you actually how easy this thing is to put back and loosen up the belt a little bit, which is usually what you're going to do anyway. Now, if you have your pants, if you're going, say you're getting ready for the morning. Let me just do this real quick, and I'll finish what I was saying. So say you're getting ready for the morning, and you're first putting your holster on for the day. I wouldn't do it like that. I would obviously just run it through the loops like it's a like it's a belt loop. We're going to do a separate review on this belt. And that's it, guys. And you know, you can change the cant on it. It's oops, I didn't clip this one. I can't see, so there we go. All right, so you know you can change the can on it. It's not going nowhere. The pants are a little goofy there. Good. We're all set up, and you know that's just how I like it. And it's a very minimalist setup. You know, you're never gonna see that thing. Nobody, nobody's gonna. You know, if I bend over, obviously, but like. And because it's stippled, a lot of times my shirt likes to get caught on it and stuff. But, you know, that's just what happens. There's nothing to do with the holster. But I, I like it back here. This also will work with the appendix carry. We'll show you that in a minute. But let's just say I need to pull this thing out of there. And, you know, if I had this, obviously this whole holster is going to come flying out with it. Because the clip's not going to stick with this kind of thin, lightweight belt, which isn't really designed. It says it's a gear belt. But it's not really a gun belt. That's a, a 5.11 tactical and the one shot industries belt. These are gun belts, you know what I mean? But they're just they're just too much for EDC and they're just too much for what I want to do. So with this kind of holster here, you know, you're just gonna it comes right out. I mean it's just that's a beautiful thing. And listen to the snap. You know, you hear that thing click in there? It's beautiful. They did it. He did an absolutely phenomenal job. My my none of these other holsters that I have doesn't snap in like that. If I could just get it in the right spot, okay. So you know something happens. Holy crap! He has a gun. You know you're there. You're out with it, and it's not the holster's not coming out. It's not going nowhere. Um, it's comfortable to sit in my car. All that stuff. So let's just run that back out and show you the retention. It's not going anywhere, guys. I mean, it's in there. Now, listen to the difference. 
Here's the Tyrant Tactical. You know, not bad. Very hard to get out of there, though. You know? And here's the Clinger. Which is loose. And I could tighten it if I want to find a freaking... Somebody's calling me. I could tighten it if I want to look for this damn bolt. So all of these are easy to find and, and do, easy to work with. Added another hole in there in case I want to adjust and make it more straight. Right now I like a big cant and he knows that so he hooked it up how I liked it. Listen to that thing snap in there. Beautiful, beautiful job, beautiful holster. This is a minimalist setup. I don't care what these guys say about these whole, you know, they got a damn... Uh, freaking like station wagon in their front pocket here, uh, area here. They got they got a gun, an extra magazine. No, not just a gun. They got a damn. They got a damn. Uh, somebody's texting me. Sorry. They got a damn Glock 19 with a full size magazine, with most times an extension, and then a knife also. And what the heck kind of minimalist setup is that? So anyway, this is not bad okay not bad honestly I mean this is a polo Ooh. <laughs> it works it works for uh, and it's comfortable I might even start carrying like this here and there I mean this is comfy it's more comfortable than back here but you know just this little setup not that whole big rig I don't like that that's not Minimalist. I don't care what anybody said. So, if I need to pull it out of here, we'll just say at 1210, we'll go ahead and rip it out. It's very easy. Boom. Right in there. I'm not like super quick at this, but I'm really bad at it. But, you know, if uh, I don't practice it a lot, you know what I mean? I'm not uh, in competitions or nothing like that. You know, if a bad guy's coming, I'm probably just going to, like, really take my time and go for cover, which is the first thing you should do anyway, is look for cover. So, just in case somebody just clicking in now and they want to notice that uh, I do have the gun check. So, it does work for appendix. Just a great, great holster, guys. This is, again... Um, Silent arm concealment. Let me grab this card because it's um, got his info. You know, hit him up on Instagram if you want something custom made or whatever. I guess you could talk to him. It's pretty easy to get a hold of. Uh, his website is phenomenal to navigate through. I mean, it's probably the, one of the easiest websites I've ever been on. Very simple. Very. It's not like all these different things you can... You know, you gotta look through and with the hexes, and you know, you go into some of these holster websites, and it's like a million different things you gotta pick, and there's all these different. Uh, it's nothing like that. So, you know, and he can make holsters for any firearm. I, I looked, and uh, there's outside of the waistbands, insides, there's um, all different design patterns, whatever the heck you want. Uh, if you check on his Instagram, you can you'll be able to see a bunch of different custom holsters that he's made, and. Um, different clip options and different uh, soft loops, one soft loop, uh, a clip, anything you want. You know, it's, um, I think his lead time's two to three weeks. Um, I got mine in about six days, um, give or take, I guess it was. Um, and yeah, I, I, I'm going to purchase more stuff from him. I'm going to purchase my next holster from him. I'm going to purchase my, a magazine uh, magazine holster next, and uh, yeah, we're going to, I think I found myself a new holster, well, no, I don't think, I know I did, um, th it's a great, it's a great holster, great company, I like, I like uh, how personal he gets with you if, if needed, unless you just want to go on there, order a holster, whatever, up to you, or if you want to, you know, uh, give him, want some specifics done like I need it. Um, it can definitely be done. So, silent arm concealment, guys, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for sure.
Uh, I know there was something else I wanted to talk about. Oh, the other thing, because sometimes when I go to the gym and whatnot, um, I like to carry oh, my keys out of the way here. <laughs> um, sometimes when I go to the gym, I like to carry my gun because I have gym pants on or whatever. Now, I always will bring a belt with me and pants just in case, like, shit hits the fan. I'm not running out in gym pants. But, you know, I'll always, I'll maybe put my gun in the holster in my concealed CCW pocket in my Trident 20 backpack. And with the soft loops, I was a little bit concerned about, well, is that going to work? Because, you know, I have a VanQuest holster, accessory holster that it goes into, and I wasn't sure if the soft loops were going to work out with that. But... Um, what would happen is, you know, let me zip this back up. Oops, I whacked my gun sight there. It's actually not even in all the way. That's the problem is. Okay, so, so if something were to happen, you would, you know, obviously you would uh, fly this bag around your side, and then you would go and reach for the firearm. Now you do have to pull and hold your finger on that holster where the holster is going to come out with it, but that's fine. Okay, I, I choose to be, to do that um, because I don't want, I'll just pull this whole thing out of here. Now VanQuest designs this accessory thing for just the firearm to go in there. And obviously, if you don't hold the holster, you're going to pull the whole thing out. So I was a little bit concerned about, you know, you know, I think this needs to be just a little bit looser. That's better. So I was a little bit concerned about the soft loops not being able to attach to that. But the clip doesn't attach neither. The only reason why I was able to pull it out so easy before is because the retention on the other holster wasn't holding the gun properly anyway. So, you know, VanQuest advertises it where you can just stick your firearm in there like that. But I'm just not a big fan of that at all. And I don't recommend anybody doing that. So, plus, I always want my holster with me. So, it does work. And um, I always keep an extra magazine with it. And as I said before, not with this one, but if I have my... Okay, so if I have this set up right here, there's a Glock 19 sitting there, like that, okay? And I always keep my little magnet, you know, with this in case I just need to shove that in my pocket, and uh, I'm good to go, so, meaning the little Neo Mag magnetic pocket clip that'll clip into your pocket. So I always keep, usually it just sits in there just like that and that that's my system guys that's how I like to do it now most of the time my firearm is on me but in that rare occasion where it's inside my bag that's the way it's gonna be and, and how badass is that I mean that's just a cool setup so the holster works with that it works with the four o'clock beautifully it works with appendix it's a beautiful holster well very well made the craftsmanship is awesome the soft loops are great uh it just it just works the gun comes out great it stays in there perfectly um i love how uh, minimalist it is i love how it works out with my belt here this travex clinch belt i i love the soft loops i'm swearing by these soft loops right now i uh, was really not that sure about them but I, I definitely uh, really like them, um, and I think you should if you're looking for a holster for your or for any firearm. Uh, consider definitely going to Cole and his company, Silent Arm Concealment. He will definitely 100% take care of you and and uh, make you what you need. Uh, another thing is a, 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 I can't I, li I really like how it's just a simple screw there. Nothing fancy, nothing I need to find a specialty tool for, nothing I need to put in my 
backpack. I mean, my Leatherman has a, uh, that that on there if I need it. You know what I mean? So, uh, and even these are the same way. So it's nothing crazy like some of these, like other holsters, even the uh, the Alien gears. You got to have a special tool for. So you know, it's just it gets a little bit ridiculous. All that stuff, and uh, I like how simple it is and well made. I love the design, even though it's a simple, pretty much design for a Kydex holster. It's it's still very well made, and uh, he did a great job, guys. And well, uh, that's really um, that's really it. There's not really much more I could tell you about it. Uh, I just think you should put it upon yourself to go check out the website and uh, order yourself up some Kydex. That's it, guys. I will see you in the next video. Um, have a great. Uh, Thursday evening and have a beautiful weekend. See you guys later. Peace.